Hey guys, it's Kevin Kittleson with DJK Custom Homes in Naperville. We're out here at our second Net Zero Energy home. Uh, as you can see here, this one's a little bit different than the first Net Zero Energy home we did here. Uh, first one had a rustic design, while here we're looking at a modern farmhouse design. We'll take a walk inside and show you some of the key features of the home. As we walk up to the front door, you'll notice we have a wraparound porch to kind of complement that modern farmhouse design, yet add that uh, modern style. Again, a detail on the home, our modern address plate, different from the address plates we're putting on most of our homes, kind of add that modern style and complement that farmhouse look. Step inside. All right, we're standing in the main foyer of the home. From here, you might notice all the natural lighting that's coming into the home. Um, that's coming basically from Velux skylights that are all um, electronically controlled to let natural light and ventilation into the home. To your right here, you'll see we have an open concept office, um, nice and open to the home, full bookshelf um, on the wall, as well as some paneling here to kind of complement that modern farmhouse look. You also see we have our powder room as well with a Wizard of Oz theme. So something special in this home uh, that the homeowner was looking for and DJK brought to life. As we step into the main area of the home, you'll notice here on the left hand side is a grand staircase leading to the second floor. Um, once you walk to the second floor, you'll see there's a full wraparound overlook looking down into the family room from the upstairs bringing the two, the two spaces together and providing a lot of natural light for the home. Our family room, again, at the back of the home, a lot of natural light brought into the home through our Velux skylights, um, saving us energy, reducing our lighting costs, and also bringing ventilation into the home. All of our Velux skylights in this home are electronically controlled and programmed to open throughout the day um, and will also not open as, if it is raining outside, so kind of a little safety feature there. Um, out the back of the home, we have our deck as well as our screened-in area to um, provide some outdoor living space for the occupants. Uh, and towards the back of the home, our mud room, which is a nice spot for the family to come in, drop their shoes, uh, drop their coats, um, and enter through the main area of the house and kind of keep this house or this area separate from the main areas. Um, through this door, our garage. One of the key things in this home is the indoor air quality. As you know, this home's LEED certified, so we're focusing on indoor air quality, energy efficiency, and basically protecting the environment. Um, all the drywall within this home is certainty to air renew drywall, so it's cleaning the air as you live your day. Um, right here, we're standing in the dining room. We have displays set up now, but this is where the family dining table would go. Again, a very open concept floor plan, which has been very popular throughout the area. Getting rid of the formal dining and living space and opening it up so we're fitting more space into less square footage um, and opening the area up for perfect entertaining. Here, kind of a focal point of the home, you'll see our main kitchen area, all the quartz countertops throughout, which you'll also see in all the bedrooms, a very green product, um, also very durable, doesn't need um, very much maintenance at all. One of the key highlights of many DJK homes here is our walk-in pantry. Um, we build it all out to just look like your typical set of cabinet doors, but it's uh, something that you know kind of sets our company apart and it's been a feature that everyone's looked look to us for. All the appliances within our kitchen are all Energy Star certified, um, so again, saving energy. Up on the roof, we have a 13-kilowatt uh, solar system, which is combined a combination of an 11-kilowatt panel system as well as roughly two kilowatts of solar shingles that are on the back side of the home from Dow Powerhouse. Uh, we'll take a walk down into the cinema and then we'll make our way upstairs and check out some of the rooms up there. The cinema is one of the key features of this home that we really spend a lot of time on and, and thought out to make sure it was everything we anticipated and um, envisioned. You'll see here three tiers of seating, um, basically a couch bed up here, and then there'll be two love sacks that have yet to come for the lower area. Uh, movie reel detail on the ceiling, um, also blackout shades that you'll see here from Pella. So by a click of a button, 
We can open this wall up, allow a ton of, nat uh, a ton of natural light to filter into the room and you know, see the outdoors or another click of a button, we can roll the shade down so you can watch a movie in complete darkness um, any time of day. You also see back here, we got a full custom bar, so some bar seating for, for moviegoers. And again, one of the de uh, details within this home is our DVD storage rack uh, on the wall. It's gonna house over a thousand DVDs to be used in this cinema. We'll make our way upstairs and check out some of the, the bedroom areas and also our, our main catwalk area. One of the things you'll notice coming into this main area, you'll notice we left this steel beam exposed as a detail and uh, we faux finished it to kind of have that rusted out look, uh, complement that modern farmhouse and industrial design. Um, it's something different that you're not seeing in every home. So again, focusing on indoor air quality in this home as we're taking our walk upstairs here. One of the things we focus on is making sure we eliminate the amount of VOCs that are brought into the home. One of the ways we do that is through our paints. We use all no VOC paints in our houses and stains, so we're eliminating chemicals that are brought into the home. To your left here, um, as we're walking over there, you will notice this whole open area overlooking your family room pit. Again bringing in all the natural light, combining the spaces for a really open floor plan. Um, then if you come this way, we have our master suite, uh, kind of modern design bed that we've put in here, as well as a little sitting space behind the bed and his and her closets. Over here, we got the main closet and then over here, this can function as either a shoe closet or a separate closet space for him and her. Um, we'll walk in here to our modern master bathroom. Uh, Freestanding tubs have been very popular throughout the area, um, and throughout a lot of the modern homes that we're building, as well as the walk-in shower. So we have our jetted shower. Um, even though we do have jets, a handheld, and a, um, a typical shower head, the flow volume on that unit is very low. Um, so the shower head is actually a Delta H2O Kinetic, which is going to give you the feeling that there's a lot of water coming out, but it's really only uh, a gallon and a half to two gallons of water per minute coming out of the faucet. You also notice here, we have our Delta touch faucet. So you turn the faucet on, leave it turned on. You could touch it to turn it on and off. Again, if you have your hands full or you got, you know, um, if you're in the kitchen, we have the same things. If you got raw chicken on your hands, why not? You can tap it with your elbow, uh, eliminate, you know, some of that contamination there. Again, quartz countertops throughout the whole home. And one of the hottest features in the master suite area that we've been getting a lot of compliments on is the, the screen room area. So out here, there's a little screen in space. Enjoy your morning cup of coffee. You know, sit out here and read a book or whatnot. So all behind, what's behind the walls in this home is equally as important as everything we're showing you today. Um, behind all the walls is five and a half inches of cellulose insulation and then on the outside of our exterior walls is also two inches of foam uh, to give us a really thick insulated wall and prevent any thermal bridging um, by adding that foam on the walls. Take a walk into this back bedroom, just give you a feel for the bedroom sizes. Um, again, two, it's a three bedroom home uh, two private baths in both bedrooms, all low flush toilets, uh, touch 2 faucets, H2O kinetic shower heads. And you got your bathroom here and your closet space here. So as we walk into the other bedroom, um, one of the other things that I thought about that's behind our walls is we source all of our, a lot of our lumber from sustainable sources. So if you walk through one of our homes while it's under the construction stage, you'll see that we have the SFI certified stamp on a lot of our lumber. Basically that's um, certifying that it was sustainably cut down 
um, using sustainable forests. Again, here's the, the second private bath with the quartz countertops, um, dual flush toilets, and whatnot. Again, all LED lights were used throughout the home. As we're in this bathroom, one of the things you'll notice when you come into our bathroom is there's no bath fan. All of our bath fans are done through ERV integration. So what that means is we have an ERV system in every one of our homes bringing in fresh air, expelling stale air throughout the day. Um, the bath fans are tied into that system. So with this switch on the wall here, you can turn it on and off and it'll stay on for 20 minutes after hitting that switch and circulate fresh air into your bathroom. So not only is it pulling out that stale air, it's also bringing fresh air in as well. Uh, final feature of the upstairs area is our laundry room, which you'll see here. Uh, we got our stack washer and dryer units, very efficient units with a low um, water usage on the washer. Um, again, quartz countertops in here, all low VLC finishes on all the cabinets. Um, Again, touch faucet in here so you turn your faucet on you can leave it in that position and whenever you need to use it you can just touch of a button um, it'll also turn off automatically after a program set time uh, to avoid any you know if you forget say you're in your kitchen washing dishes and forget to turn it off it'll, it'll kick itself off after a while but um, that's pretty much a tour through the house we'll have this home open for touring up until May 14th again of 2016 so open for touring for about another two weeks. Uh, we're here 12 to 6 every day. I um, look forward to seeing you guys out here. The address of this home is 628 Knocknolls Road in Naperville, which is not too far from the intersection of Naper Plainfield and 95th Street. We'll see you guys out here. Thanks.